God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let God arise, let his enemies flee before him. Let God arise, let his foes be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is blown away, so will they be blown away. Like wax that melts before the fire, so the wicked shall perish at the presence of God. But the just shall rejoice at the presence of God. They shall exult and dance for joy. O oh, sing to the Lord, make music to his name, make a highway for him who rides on the clouds. Rejoice in the Lord, exult at his presence. Father of the orphan, defender of the widow, such is God in his holy place. God gives the lonely a home to live in. He leads the prisoners forth into freedom, but rebels must dwell in a parched land. When you went forth, O God, at the head of your people, when you marched across the desert, the earth trembled, the heavens melted at the presence of God, at the presence of God, Israel's God. You poured down, O God, a generous rain. When your people were starved, you gave them new life. It was there that your people found a home. Prepared in your goodness, O God, for the poor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let God arise. Let, Let his, his enemies, enemies flee before, before him. him. Our God is a saving God. He, the Lord, holds the keys of death. The Lord gives the word to the bearers of good tidings. The Almighty has defeated a numberless army, and kings and armies are in flight, in flight, while you were at rest among the sheepfolds. At home the women already share the spoil. They are covered with silver as the wings of a dove, its feathers brilliant with shining gold, and jewels flashing like snow on Mount Zalman. The mountains of Bashan are mighty mountains. High-ridged mountains are the mountains of Bashan. Why look with envy, you high-ridged mountains, at the mountain where God has chosen to dwell? It is there that the Lord shall dwell forever. The chariots of God are thousands upon thousands. The Lord has come from Sinai to the holy place. You have gone up on high. You have taken captives, receiving men in tribute, O God, even those who rebel into your dwelling, O Lord. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens, God our Savior. This God of ours is a God who saves. The Lord our God holds the keys of death and God will smite the head of his foes, the crown of those who persist in their sins. The Lord said, I will bring them back from Bashan. I will bring them back from the depth of the sea. Then your feet will tread in their blood, and the tongues of your dogs take their share of the foe. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our God is a saving God. He, he the, the Lord, Lord, holds the keys, keys of death. Kingdoms of earth, sing praise to God. Make music in honor of the Lord. They see your solemn procession, O God, the procession of my God, of my King, to the sanctuary. The singers in the forefront, the musicians coming last, 
Between them, maidens sounding their timbrels. In festive gatherings, bless the Lord. Bless God, O you who are Israel's sons. There is Benjamin, least of the tribes at the head. Judah's princes, a mighty throng. Zebulun's princes, Naphtali's princes. Show forth, O God, show forth your might. Your might, O God, which you have shown for us. For the sake of your temple high in Jerusalem, may kings come to you bringing their tribute. Threaten the wild beast that dwells in the reeds, the bands of the mighty and lords of the peoples. Let them bow down offering silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Princes will make their way from Egypt. Ethiopia will stretch out her hands to God. Kingdoms of the earth, sing to God, praise the Lord, who rides on the heavens, the ancient heavens. He thunders his voice, his mighty voice. Come, acknowledge the power of God. His glory is on Israel. His might is in the skies. God is to be feared in his holy place. He is the Lord, Israel's God. He gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Kingdoms of earth, sing Sing praise praise to God. God. Make Make music music in in honor honor of the the Lord. Lord. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying. He tells of peace for his people. From the first letter of the Apostle Paul to Timothy. You can depend on this. Whoever wants to be a bishop aspires to a noble task. A bishop must be irreproachable, married only once, of even temper, self-controlled, modest, and hospitable. He should be a good teacher. He must not be addicted to drink. He ought not to be contentious, but rather gentle, a man of peace, nor can he be someone who loves money. He must be a good manager of his own household, keeping his children under control without sacrificing his dignity. For if a man does not know how to manage his own house, how can he take care of the church of God? He should not be a new convert, lest he become conceited and thus incur the punishment once meted out to the devil. He must also be well thought of by those outside the church to ensure that he does not fall into disgrace and the devil's trap. In the same way, deacons must be serious, straightforward, and truthful. They may not overindulge in drink or give in to greed. They must hold fast to the divinely revealed faith with a clear conscience. They should be put on probation first. Then, if there is nothing against them, they may serve as deacons. The women, similarly, should be serious, not slanderous gossips. They should be temperate and entirely trustworthy. Deacons may be married but once and must be good managers of their children and their households. Those who serve well as deacons gain a worthy place for themselves and much assurance in their faith in Christ Jesus. Although I hope to visit you soon, I am writing you about these matters so that if I should be delayed, you will know what kind of conduct befits a member of God's household, the church of the living God, the pillar and bulwark of truth. Wonderful indeed is the mystery of our faith, as we say in professing it. He was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by the angels, preached among the Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, taken up into glory. You must have at heart every member of the flock, for the Holy Spirit has made you their shepherds. You must rule over the church of God, which he has made his own through the blood of his Son. The great quality of a steward is to be faithful to his duty. You must rule over the church of God, which he has made his own through the blood of his Son. 
from a letter written to all the faithful by St. Francis of Assisi. It was through his archangel, St. Gabriel, that the Father above made known to the holy and glorious Virgin Mary that the worthy, holy, and glorious word of the Father would come from heaven and take from her womb the real flesh of our human frailty. Though he was wealthy beyond reckoning, he still willingly chose to be poor with his blessed mother. And shortly before his passion, he celebrated the Passover with his disciples. Then he prayed to his father, saying, Father, if it be possible, let this cup be taken from me. Nevertheless, he reposed his will in the will of his father. The father willed that his blessed and glorious son, whom he gave to us and who was born for us, should through his own blood offer himself as a sacrificial victim on the altar of the cross. This was to be done not for himself, through whom all things were made, but for our sins. It was intended to leave us an example of how to follow in his footsteps. And he desires all of us to be saved through him and to receive him with pure heart and chaste body. Oh, how happy and blessed are those who love the Lord and do as the Lord himself said in the gospel. You shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart and your whole soul and your neighbor as yourself. Therefore, let us love God and adore him with pure heart and mind. This is his particular desire when he says, True worshipers adore the Father in spirit and truth. For all who adore him must do so in the spirit of truth. Let us also direct to him our praises and prayers, saying, our Father, who art in heaven, since we must always pray and never grow slack. Furthermore, let us produce worthy fruits of penance. Let us also love our neighbors as ourselves. Let us have charity and humility. Let us give alms, because these cleanse our souls from the stains of sin. Men lose all the material things they leave behind them in this world, but they carry with them the reward of their charity and the alms they give. For these they will receive from the Lord the reward and recompense they deserve. We must not be wise and prudent according to the flesh. Rather, we must be simple, humble, and pure. We should never desire to be over others. Instead, we ought to be servants who are submissive to every human being for God's sake. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on all who live in this way, and persevere in it to the end. He will permanently dwell in them. They will be the Father's children who do his work. They are the spouses, brothers, and mothers of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are those of gentle spirit, they shall inherit the land. Blessed are you who hunger now, you shall be satisfied. Blessed are those of gentle spirit, they shall inherit the land. Let us pray. Father, you helped St. Francis to reflect the image of Christ through a life of poverty and humility. May we follow your Son by walking in the footsteps of Francis of Assisi, 
and by imitating his joyful love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. Thanks. 